Hello, welcome to Try Animes. Uh, this is another week, well, this uh, weekly review of Amiami. This is a bit longer than a week though, so I missed last week. Um, I've got all of last week and missed, so this is from the 15th to the 25th of March 2023. So I've missed a few days, unfortunately. I've not been able to save properly, um, so we'll just get straight into it. Uh, so, your how illustration, white haired bunny version uh, by Union Creative 18,200 yen uh, it's a basic bunny figure um, not obviously not freeing with the tights or anything like that but if you're into your bunnies and you love your bunny figures this is quite a good one to get hold of uh, for the price not bad either the hair looks I think the hair and probably the shading and the body suit will be your best things you'll get for the price is pretty good as well 18,200 yen so you can't really moan uh, for it um, and I think the pink uh, bow, t the pink tie actually adds a bit of a bit of a good depth from the rest of the figure. It's quite a good figure overall, actually. Uh, for for bunny figure, don't know what the scale is though. Uh, base twelve centimeters across, two hundred ninety millimeters in height. So that's probably one seventh, one sixth, roughly maybe. Um, it's quite like the figure overall. Um, girls Frontline ZB26 Nook and ephemeral, ephemeral Dream version 1 7th by Wonderful Works. This one I think a lot of people like are going to get. Um, it's uh, a Girls Frontline in a swimsuit, uh, taking part of the swimsuit off, um, and the base has got lots of accessories like that bag looks really good. Um, the clear, the way the fact is clear and looks like a proper clear um, through plastic bag you would have in if you bought one in real life. So it actually looks really good. Um, the hair looks amazing, having the hat on there as well. This figure, if you're doing swimsuit or beach themed part of your collection, this will be worth, definitely worth getting. Um, so yeah, I can definitely see uh, this one being a very nice figure, uh, one seventh scale. That's for 117, well, 18,900 yen. So I think for what you get paying for, this is a really good value. Um, and I think one of four works is pretty good overall with the quality of the figures. We'll have to, just have to see. Uh, the hair, the hair shading is pretty good overall as well. Um, I do like the figure overall. It's a very nice figure. Uh, this one's a bit of controversial for a lot of people. Uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Toru, one sixth. Um, it's controversial for obvious reasons. Um, it's over exaggerated in areas, um, unfortunately. Um, I think too exaggerated. Um, I think this is just 27,720 yen. I don't think anything is worth getting it. Um, it is a 1 sixth, so it's slightly bigger than 1 seventh. Um, but there's other figures you can get for, uh, for what it is. This is too basic for what you're getting. And there's other Toru figures that are nicer, really. Um, this is for a specific type of collector. Um, yep. B-Star Monochrome Bunny Aoi. Uh, one qu quarter scale by Freeing. Uh, this one is a cast off, if I'm pretty sure. Um, but it's a basic bunny figure. Yep, cast off. Um, which you can come as a pet you can get the pair that I think it looks like they're supposed to match together um the other one we'll be looking at later on but 32,000 yen still up on the high end for a basic bunny figure it's I think maybe when it's close to 28 27,000 yen something like that might be worth getting um the cast off does mean make the price a bit higher considering freeing don't always do cast off but it is just a basic cast off and it's just a very basic bunny suit really you're buying it for one specific reason so uh yeah it's not not really up my alley um kiriko shakugun no shana 20th anniversary um shana burning eyed but beauty on seventh scale by katakawa katakawa just blown out of the park with these uh figures really um, they do amazing paint jobs this figure looks great um, I love the kimono uh, the flower detailing looks gr amazing um, hair shading is probably a little bit bland on the back maybe uh, have they got back oh no it's quite good actually overall nope the hair looks great 
Um, I think uh, this is going to be a really good figure and the effect parts I think are done well enough that they don't detract from the figure. Uh, 24,750 yen, yep, it's a pretty good price actually overall. Um, so that's definitely one to look out for if you're interested in this character or having or do have uh, figures in kimonos. Uh, Overlord Albado Season 4 Sobin version 1 7th by Fuyu. This one's a bit of a uh, controversy because for the price 37,300 yen. Um, and this is probably not even one of the best Albado figures out there. It's Albado in a dress. Um, the dress looks quite good overall. Um, people were moaning about this, you know, this opaque white bit over her chest area, but that's because there's like a a ribbon thing that comes around the back of the dress and then goes over um, the, goes over them so that's why I do understand why people thought it was a bit weird um, and the hair looks in the hair looks pretty good I think it's just a tie with the blue I think uh, it's supposed to be black all the way through but um, and the green shading on the wings actually looks quite nice so I think it is quite a nice figure but it's just too expensive um, and I think with Fu they'll probably make too many of them and then the price will be tanked and the price will be even, it's discounted already, but I think it'll be even cheaper on the aftermarket. Um, yeah, April 2024, so we'll just have to see see how it turns out uh, next year. And 12, 13 months, yeah, about 13 months time. And see what, what the value is at, but it's not, that's more expensive than a lot of, that's like the upper end of freeing figures. Or pretty much, yeah, so I wouldn't even, wouldn't even, yeah, unfortunately no. It's uh, not it's too too overpriced. A Sayu Ayume Kakuma Chan no Koguki, sorry, Suntan version 1 6th by Bishop's Bondo. Not heard of this manufacturer. 18,500 yen. This is a figure for a specific kind of pe person uh, who wants something that's succubus themed, I guess you could say, uh, with the heart tail. So it's definitely. Inspired by a succubus type of uh, aesthetic, um, yep, and is uh, completely cast off. So yep, uh, if you like that sort of thing, uh, I do quite like that sort of uh, not say NSFW figures, um, but generally they have to be other characters that I uh, obviously have seen and like in an anime, and I. Uh, do appreciate or are the figure itself has to blow me away or there's be really good price the price is pretty good um but it's not something that's i'm instantly gonna chuck money down for this one unfortunately uh dz1 to sx uzaku banego on sixth this is quite an interesting looking figure um very colorful playful um and there's a lot of motion and going on in it uh, I think if you're into your sportswear style figures um, or you obviously appreciate this uh, figure at all, this probably would be worth getting. 28,000 yen is a bit on the upper price, um, but the in, I think one of the things uh, you're paying for is the jacket with having this uh, glossy sort of inlay um, that they're painting on there. To do that well uh, is going to be pretty difficult, especially with all the curvatures. Um, so it looks the jacket looks really good. Obviously the hair's being up in, up and held in as she's running around. Uh, so showing, giving her motion, um, and the boot, the shoes are a bit of a, a bit of a takeaway I think in the way they're styled. But apart from that, I think I think it's supposed to be like rabbit's paws. So she's a rabbit themed character. So if you've got a rabbit themed uh, collection or uh, you have a thing for rabbits, then this might be worth getting. Uh, Ratsumi Saki 1 5th. Uh, this one has already gone up for pre order, but I think this is might be image updates um, or it's just a redoing of the pre orders because they probably sold up really quickly. Um, this one's 55,300 yen and this is the complete one which has the extra uh, base where she's got standing on skulls with the blood work. Um, I've already talked about this one. This one looks amazing. It's an, an, not uh, an SFW figure. So it is cast off, um, but yeah, I think for, for what you're getting, it's one fifth, um, and she looks amazing. The detailing in the, uh, yeah, the detailing in the paint job here is, this is going to be one of my favourite figures next for next year, 2024, definitely. I can't wait for this to come out. Um, 
Let's go on to, this is the other week's lot, going up to 25th, so this is going from the 20, 20, 20th second to the 25th, or 20th to the 25th. Um, so it's Tanner Black Bunny Girl, 1 7th, Reverse, Reverse Studio. Um, it's a bunny girl in lingerie uh, on a chair for 19,900 yen. I think <laughs> that's actually not a bad price, uh, really, because normally if you're getting furniture, they charge like 10,000 yen just for the furniture, especially with this sort of paint, the paint job that they've got on there, the shading on the wood. It actually looks really good. Um, I think you're basically paying probably what? I'll say 10,000 just for that and then another 9,000 just for her. So really, even though there might be critiques of her, she's a very simple figure. Um, the hair looks fine. It's not super well shaded, but shaded at least. Um, and then like, yeah, she's just uh, playing with, obviously with her lingerie on doing it. Um, it's quite a nice looking figure actually overall um, for 19,800 yen. Yep, yeah, I quite like that one, especially because you're getting that. Uh, not just a box standard round base or anything like that. It's this. I think it's the furniture seat, the bench that she's sitting on actually gives it her uh, the ornate bench actually gives her a lot of extra character. So it's really good. A spy classroom. Lily, what's seven scale by Katakawa? So this is a, another Katakawa. Um, I think it's going to be fine if you like the enjoy the anime. Definitely worth getting. Um, I've not seen watched the anime yet. I do need to watch it. But I think the paint job looks good overall. Base is pretty simple, but um, I think for the price you can't moan so much. There are other figures though that I have more going on for the same for the you know, nineteen thousand, nearly nineteen thousand yen price. Um, so I think you have to just really like uh, Lily really to, in order to get this one. Um, and there's probably going to be other ones in the future. That, release of her coming out so you might want to hold off for that and just see what happens uh, with those ones uh, here's the other monochrome bunny Natsumi uh, for 32,800 yen again it's been discounted it's uh, another basic uh, freeing bunny that is cast off so you could get the pair for bloody nearly 70,000 yen which I wouldn't to be honest um, uh, but yeah this is just box standard bunny figures uh, if you're if you want cast offs then get them um, but they're not of any characters that I'm barely interested in uh, obviously they're, they're not from any anime that I'm aware of uh, it doesn't mention that they are so I think they're just like original art style ones uh, from a from Matsuba mo oh, Matsuda model paint work okay yeah so uh, the original work illustrated Ikakomi yeah so I'm not don't not don't not very familiar with that I'm afraid. Here we go. T two Nekaparas, Nekapara chocolate and vanilla. Lovely sweet time complete figures by by Plum. Uh, so these I think a lot of people will be getting. There's quite a few Nekapara figures out there. Um, and these are quite nice to get if you're into or have a Nekapara shelf. Um, obviously it's of them getting undressing. Um, I think these definitely are worth getting if you play the Nekapara games. Um, I haven't, I do own them, I need to play them. Uh, I think I'll give these a miss really and I'll just see how they are on the aftermarket, although I reckon they'll go up in price. And they're in June when I've got other stuff to pre-order, so uh, on pre-order, so unfortunately I won't be getting these. Um, but for the price I think they're pretty good overall, for nearly 20,000 yen. So you're spending about £250 to get both of them. Uh, excluding uh, obviously shipping but yep that's quite good um, definitely worth getting I think there's shading's quite good on the stockings um, yeah I can't say uh, there's nothing really that like ruins them for me the base look quite good interesting overall look, I think they can slot together yeah so you put them together if you want and so how I would get both of them if you there's no much point in getting one because it's sort of they they will always come as a pair, really. Uh, chocolate and vanilla. So definitely worth getting. Shy Girls in Love, Kasane Minazumi. On the seventh by Goldenhead. Don't know this figure, company, manufacturer. Uh, it is a very simple figure of Kasane Minazumi. 
which I have no idea what that entails uh, or who that is. I'm guessing it's some paintwork. Yeah, I don't know. I'm afraid if it's from an anime. Uh, so that's twenty-one thousand seven hundred eighty yen. Uh, too simple, I think, for the price. Uh, I think she should be cheaper. Um, but we're in the Aussie era of prices going up and inflation, so that might be about right for this sort of figure. We'll just have to see how it is on the aftermarket. That comes out November 2023. Uh, Yuri Chan illustration by Kumiko RE 1 7th. So this is another illustration one. This one is a bit interesting. It is a not safe for work one because she can have her skirt up, and you probably see there that she has her um yeah uh pulled down uh there we go there's a shot of it with the skirt up so it is i guess a type of cast off figure um just not the visual type of cast off figure that people are aware of uh for eighteen thousand eight hundred and ten yen uh, i think you have to just like like the actual figure to fall in love with it uh, it's not something i'm interested in really in these sorts of Figures, uh, it's too much to me. It's too much love for Lolly or Schoolgirl vibe I'm getting from this. So, uh, but it looks quite good overall. Um, uh, yeah, it's pretty good, but not my thing. And I think probably is not even worth that kind of money to be honest. Maybe fifteen thousand at most. Hitomi, sixteen illustration guitar sisters, May May. Uh, yep, back back less dress complete version. Uh, I think there's two other versions of this with the, the backless bit in different positions. Um, so this it, these are all got quite a good following, and I quite like the I like the design overall. Um, I think I might have a wait till it comes on the aftermarket to be honest. Uh, for twenty thousand two hundred forty yen, um, I do like the style of it. Obviously, it's a, a guitar girl um, and with a very a very appealing uh, skirt, which. Um, Yep, get Jeffrey drags your eye in and gets your attention. Um, it's uh, wearing a. Yeah, I do like the jacket actually. That jacket looks has a lot of detailing going on it, full the creases, and they've done a really nice paint job. I think this is really good uh, representation of how to do creases and shading in creases, but with the jacket and with the brown or grey brown and the blue and grey is used in the skirt. Um, so, or dress, skirt dress, dress, sorry, because this goes up, yep. Um, and then she's got obviously a blue hoodie, uh, thick wool jumper over the top. So this is actually a very nice looking figure. Um, it would be something I would possibly get, December 2023. Haven't got a lot in 20, December 2023, but there are other figures that can, uh, obviously get delayed. So, uh, it's not something I'm going to pick up, but I'll wait till it gets released and then I might see if I pick her up. And uh, finally, Date Alive, 4th, near Honjo, 1-7th, Belfine. Uh, this I quite like. Uh, there's quite a few Date Alive figures. Um, and this one, I think, does represent how she is in the anime quite a lot. The hair's a bit flat, but I think you're getting it because of the sort of... It's a very priest, obviously, nun-priestess uh, kind of vibe, which I quite like, actually. It's one of my favourite vibes, nun slash priestess looking. Um, I do really need to watch Daylight 4. Um, uh, I do like the figure uh, quite a lot. Um, and this sort of see-through dress is quite uh, alluring. Um, and the detailing on it looks really good actually overall. Uh, the gold on the cross looks quite good. Um, uh, just the, the butt window. So I think this is actually a very uh, attractive figure by Belfine. I have to see how it's executed though. Um, 22,440 yen it's not a bad price. I think it's probably worth that. Um, like you got the, this watering effect on the veil and the dress as I guess it's how the dress is formed or it's dispersing um, in the anime. I think it's probably represented a bit more, um, uh, more effectively but I think it's a very good uh, representation in the 3D model. Um, on a figure, so I actually quite like that a lot. So this is a very nice looking figure actually for the price, and that runs out. That's runs out this entire lot. So uh, 
please subscribe, comment, and uh, let me know if there's anything else I can do to improve, or if there's any other videos that you want me to make, um, possibly of anime reviews. Uh, I do watch quite a lot of anime. Um, it's just, you know, it takes time to create the reviews and how what style I want to do them in. Um, thank you very much, and welcome. Thank you very much for watching this video from Try Animes.